So if you're using, um, like I said, send a fax, that's probably a real good uh, uh, sign that you might be prepared to uh, investigate getting a fax or well, what else? Well, um, I would say that if you have multiple fax machines in your organization, more than one, uh, that would probably be a sign that you might be, uh, uh, could make good use out of a fax server, okay? Uh, what other signs might there be? Um, if you notice that there's a lot of people clamoring to use the fax machine, I mean, it should be pretty obvious. You know, okay, you got the one fax machine, but you got a lot of a lot of pages going through it. Um, then you could say that's a sign that we might need to look into a fax uh, fax server. If you're replacing, if you're looking at, uh, you've got some uh, plain paper fax machines that you're looking to upgrade or replace. I definitely would look at a fax server versus investing in the uh, in the uh, plain paper faxes. Yes, there's there's some hybrids out there. They're pretty spendy, by the way. And you'll see them. <clears throat> They're plain paper fax machines that have the ability to be networkable as like a network device, and they're kind of a quasi fax server hybrid sort of thing. Um, proprietary stuff. It's not a fax server, folks. It's a glorified fax machine that might be able to archive faxes on a network share or something like that, but it's nowhere near as robust feature-wise as a full-blown fax server. As it's not. Uh, you're not going to be able to print the applications. Um, uh, it's just not going to have all the, all the things that a true fax server is going to have. So that's just that's not the way to go. Um, I want you to think <clears throat> of your interaction with your customers, your your vendors, uh, your your employees, uh, and I want you to think in terms of uh, the documents that you interact with every day. Would we be better off faxing some things as opposed to actually physically mailing them? Think about that. What do you spend in postage every month? Say invo invoices or statements. Uh, Postal Service just uh, increased rates the other day. It's now 42 cents to, to send a letter, first class. 42 cents. Um, I could probably fax that monthly statement to this customer uh, for a nickel. I don't know, three cents, two cents. <laughs> Big difference. Multiply that times several hundred customers every month. <laughs> I'm pocketing the cash rather than paying, you know, $500 a month in postage. Now paying $200 a month in postage. Doesn't take too long to pay for a fax server doing that. So I want you to think in those terms of how you can, you know, make some money from it. Remember, being frugal is not necessarily about being the cheapest. It's about getting the most value for your money. Well, you're protecting your, you know, you're, you're not only making, uh, you're, you're saving money and, you know, a penny saved is a penny earned, right? And if you can cut your postage bill by a few hundred dollars a month or what have you, that's the same thing as getting, you know, $300 more a month in pure revenue. Pure net profit that goes right to your bucket. Every it's very interesting, isn't it? Every dollar that is saved goes directly to net profit. In other words, it's a lot. You make it's actually more profitable to reduce expense and a lot easier to reduce expense than it is to grow it through revenue. Because let's say if I uh, if I clear, uh, you know. 10% on my re gross revenue, in other words, I for every dollar I make, I get to keep a dime, I've got to do $10 in business to make a buck, make $1. i got to do $10 in business to make $1 bill. Okay? But if I can cut my expenses one by $1 a month, 
I just made that dollar. I did not have to increase sales by 10 more dollars to make that dollar. It went directly to my bottom line. But if I want to, uh, if I have to increase my revenue to cover that dollar, then I've got to sell $10 to make that dollar. I think you get the picture. Um, and I know you know this. We all know this. But sometimes we forget it. We get tunnel vision. We start to think, I got to keep my expenses under control. I don't really need this. Nobody's going to use it. Well, maybe it's because you haven't thought of new and creative ways to use this technology. Remember, if uh, you've got a monthly statement that goes to Bill, and this is Bill's fax number, you say, Bill, can I start faxing your monthly statement? He's going to say, yeah, that's fine. That's one letter you don't have to print out, put an envelope, put through a mail machine, and get picked up. Now it cost it cost what I read this somewhere one day it cost the average company like two dollars and fifty cents per to make a letter. <laughs> one letter. It's not it's more than the cost of a piece of postage. It's the envelope. It's the letterhead. It's the labor going into making the letters, printing it out, it's folding it up, it's putting it in the envelope, it's all this. Hit a fax button and out it goes. Save yourself some money. You're making money.